Hey folks, it's Mr. Peels from the ECF Forums and also Vape TV Live, baby. I made today because a few people have asked, and I said, okay, no problem, I'll show you. They were asking me about Twisted Coils on Ithaca. Now, many of you have already seen previous videos of mine. I've done Twisted Coils on Odie and Penny and so forth. And I said, you know what, no problem. I'm going to show you an easier method, being that I said I did modify from the last time I showed. So, I'm going to show you an easier method of what I use to actually uh, twist my coils now. Before it used to be a pair of pliers and the end of a pen cap and twist it. Okay, that was the simple method. I, I need to do things a little quicker now, so this is what I use. See that? Forget about it. Boom. Wow, it shakes the whole entire thing. Forget about it. So, I already have 32 gauge and 34 gauge Cantal. Okay? I don't know if you can see the two wires. I know it's so thin, right? Okay, let's see if I can focus that or close it, give it a close-up shot. There you go. Okay, you see the two wires now, okay? I attach it on an electric drill, on a screwdriver drill, let's say, okay? And I have the, the two wires, as you can see. Let me focus it. There we go. That's as best as I can get, okay? So as, as you can tell, here's the first one, here's the second one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, being it's already pinched, I am going to Okay, I'm going to grab a pair of pliers, like so. Now, I do this, this is about maybe two feet, two feet long, and I save. You know, I twist all this stuff in one shot. And then I, I uh, measure out the ohms, uh, and then I save the rest. So what you need to do first is stretch it out with your fingers. Make sure it's completely, completely tightened and straightened. Then take the pair of pliers. And what you do is I do like two turns on the pair of pliers just to hold it, okay, right here. And I'm going to cause a little bit of resistance. And I start turning. Okay. I start turning. And it starts twisting. I can speed it up a little. Like so. It's almost done. Wow, these twists are coming out beautifully. Forget about it. Nice and even. Very beautiful. Oh my gosh. Really, 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 really nice. And the tighter you make it, the better the better the result. There we go. Give it some more. To me, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Frank, this is beautiful. What is this? Velvet? Forget about it. One of my Eddie Murphy days. That's some more. I mean, you want to keep doing it, not till it gets crimpled up. Once it starts crimpled up, you want to stop. But it is nice. Okay. It's done. Wow. This thing is beautiful. Okay. Now, let's see if I can show you how this looks up close and personal. See how that came out? Real nice. The whole entire piece. Look at that. 
Really nice and twisted. Very even. Forget about it. That's for sure. So, this old piece we're not going to use. We're not going to use this old piece. So, take my pair of nail clippers. Clip one end. Clip the other end. And we have this whole piece. Okay. Now what we're going to do is grab some non-resistance wire. And what I'm going to use uh, yep, there it is. The silver. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, silver is going to be my non-resistance, okay, and I'm going to make a coil, okay, using it as a twisted. And it's the same thing as, you know, you twist the two ends together, really, really tight. And um, I'm going to start doing that. And it's like making a coil like you normally make, but except this is twisted. And then we'll use the multimeter to measure it out, and um, we'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I'm back. I just finished tying my non-resistance wire to the twisted coil. So now we're going to measure the ohms. And in case you're wondering, what does twisted coil do? Well, it increases the length of the ohms, okay? While keeping it still at a lower ohms, you get to do a whole lot more wraps. That's for sure. So it's like 1.3 ohms. I'm going to keep it there. So I'm going to mark it by bending the wire. Like so. So my wire is actually bent. You see that? So that's where I would actually merge and join the non-resistance wire. Okay. And then the rest I can save. But I'm doing dual uh, Highlanders as a twisted, as a quad twist coil setup. So now you can look at the length a little bit better. Let me uh, show you. Look at that distance. Now that is a very long distance, okay, for 1.3 ohms, okay? It's a lot, okay? That thing's going to come out very moist, very beautiful vape. Oh, forget about it. My own enemy. Oh, shit. Better than cinnamon titties. Nah, nothing's better than cinnamon titties. Forget about it. All right, so I'm going to wrap up the non-resistance wire and get the second coil going, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I already wrapped up my uh, coil on my silica, and I'm mounting it on my GGT, I mean, I'm mounting it on my Ithaca. And this is on 3M, and I want to space out my, my coils.
Okay. Now, to work with silver, you have to be very, very delicate. Okay? It's, you got to be very delicate with silver. Um, that's why for someone that's new, getting to build these kinds of uh, advanced coils, I suggest to them to use nichrome, um, literally nichrome or nickel, um, just to get your feet wet. Okay? Once you get a good handle on it, you know, then you already know how to make these coils correctly, how to mount them. Then you can take your time and finesse your way with silver. Silver is going to give you top-notch connectivity. I mean, it just, it's instant, okay? But keep in mind, it's delicate. The pure 999% silver. So that's what I'm actually using here. It's a pain, yes, but if you master it, it's a great, great vape. Oh, it's an obscenely great vape. You know? I mean, people come to the vape shops to see me, and that's like what they ask. Build me a coil, please. I want to try it. And no problem. I also build them a coil with their own wires. Just, uh, you know, their own pre-mades, whatever they made, so that they can tell the difference. It's 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 a little bit of a night and day of a difference the way I do these coils, but um, you can do it too. Okay, so I did a crisscross method, my own method. It's the Bishop Heels method. Forget about it. now you squeeze the hell out of it okay but just to give it a close-up so that you can see what it looks like okay that's exactly what it looks like okay squeezing now these are 3m wicks that I'm using now I'm gonna screw it onto the ceramic assembly and get it going and I will be right back okay guys so I'm back and I'm putting it on multimeter as you can see it's at 0.64 okay um, I'm gonna do a dry burn okay all the coils let me see if I can zoom that in for you. See? Everything's lining up, even in the inside for the duels. As you can see, those are twisted. You see that? It's twisted. See? Okay. So, that's 0.6, as you saw, I cut them at 1.3 ohms, uh, minusing out the 1 for the internal resistance on my multimeter comes out to 1.2. Um, I'm going to put it on my Just GG, forget about it, let's get a battery, Fresh Optronics, that's all what I use. So it's on my just GG right now. Now let's see what juice I'm gonna use. Mm. I'm gonna use 
you some needle from Vipuru. And like I mentioned at the vape shops, you know, I like to prime the wick, okay? And I like to fire it for a good 5, 10 seconds to 20 seconds without seeing a red coil. If I see a red coil below 20 seconds, I prime it, refire it, because, you know, each second to me is a chain vape. So if I can hold this for 20 seconds without a red coil, that means I'm not going to have any uh, dry burn, no dry taste. No harsh taste uh, when I'm vaping. Not that I'm going to vape for 20 seconds, but, you know, it holds. <coughs> and looks like it's good now. So, what I'll do is get the mouthpiece on. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's a mean vape. Very, very moist. Very, very moist. I haven't done this since OD days. Mmm. Wow, so delicious, let's finish building it, adding my tank, Oh, this is going to be a wonderful vape. Mm. Wow. Very delicious. Very delicious. Mmm. This build is one of the most, keyword, most flavorful, flavorful tastes you're going to get on Ithaca. Hands down. I've done razor blades, uh, which those are the ribbon wires. Gave a lot of moisture, but it packed on. The reason why I called it razor edge is because it felt like it was striping, slicing my tongue. Okay. This, however, it's hot, but it doesn't strike your tongue like that. And it, it's so flavorful. I mean, it's a boist of flavors that gets shooting up into you. It's unbelievable. Mmm. Oh, man. And these are 32, 34 gauge Cantal wires with silver, okay, of non-resistance. At 1.3 ohms each, uh, minusing out the, 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 one, the 0.1 for internal resistance, grants you 1.2. As you saw, it was 6.4. 0.64 ohms. Mm. Mm. Very, very, very smooth vape. Very tasting vape. Very juicy vape. Very flavorful vape. Mm.
Don't worry, guys. I'll be at Fluid Vapor this Saturday, baby, this freaking Saturday, all right? From 1 o'clock to close. So if you're in the New York area, come on down. Bring your GGs. Bring your Ithacas. Bring your Pennies. Bring your Odies. Bring your GGTS. I'll be more than happy to calibrate them. Forget about it. And I'll guarantee you, you I'll put in one of these twisted coils on there, you'll be vaping like a sir. Forget about it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. So I'm going to keep this video short because I want to vape my ass off with these coils right now. It is so delicious. It is so good. Mwah. Magnifique. Forget about it. So live hard, baby, and vape hard.